Hey guys, this is Josh, and this is Quick Tip of the Week, and this week I'm going to be teaching you how to work with masks. Let's get started. Alright, so welcome back guys, this is Quick Tip of the Week. Um, so I just took a, another actual uh, break real quick um, because uh, I'm going through IB, which I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's just a certain type of school program. It's it's a lot more difficult than sort of, let's say, the American program or the Canadian program. But uh, I've been going through IB and it's, it's really difficult actually, so I haven't had that much time to do anything. But um, I finally found some time and I'm going to start doing, I'm going to hopefully start doing them more often. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it as much as I, I have been before. But um, basically this week we're going to be learning how to use masks. Um, so there's different, there's all, like basically infinite possibilities that you can do when you're using masks, okay? So uh, I'm just going to basically give you the gist of it and hopefully you sort of catch on and you can do anything you want with it when, uh, when you're actually working on your own projects. Okay, so basically I'm just going to start off with just any image that I found. Um, this is actually going to be one of my uh, school manipulations that I'm going to be making soon. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's one thing cool about the IB is that you get to choose something for your creativity, uh, which is a mandatory thing that you have to do for IB. And uh, I chose uh, manipulation, so this is one of them that's going to be coming up. Uh, so this is... A, uh, just a regular picture of just a guy on a bike. It doesn't it doesn't matter which uh, picture it is. And then all you basically have to do is just um, make sure that the layer is uh, rasterized. So mine's already rasterized. And then you just have to simply go down here to, uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Do control J uh, when you're selecting the layer and duplicate it. And this one, uh, this one right here, your base one, is um, the original. Uh, you shouldn't really do any sort of uh, effects to it. All you have to do is just the effects to this one, which is the top one. The whole reason for creating masks is because of uh, not not tampering with your original image so you don't have any harm to it and uh, it'll always be there. Um, so basically what we're gonna do for... Sorry about that. All right, so basically what we're gonna do right now is uh, just make sure you have the top layer selected, the copy and then just select down here, uh, select this button, which is the masks, and it should start to look like this, okay? So now basically, since it's white, uh, you're gonna have to choose a brush and make sure that it is black, okay? And now this brush can be any kind of brush that you want. It can be anything. Uh, so I'm just gonna choose a random brush. Let's see, let's choose, let's choose this one and give it a decent size it doesn't matter which size it is but give it a decent size and um of course you have to add your effects which obviously i just forgot to do <laughs> so uh i'm gonna do a simple effect i'm just gonna select it and then i'm just gonna go to uh layer and then i'm going to go to sorry image adjustments hue and saturation i'm just gonna make it black and white okay so now you can make it into a mask and uh, make sure that it's not selected on the picture. Make sure it's selected on the white area next to the picture. And then make sure you have your brush and that it is black, okay? Now once you do this, you should start to see the color come through because it's sort of like you're erasing it, but it's you're painting it. It's, it's a little weird, but it works really well. And um, as you can see, it's just gonna start turning everything to the original to the original way that it was, which is this picture. And it's a really, really nice effect, actually. It's 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 different than if you just uh, do it a different way. But um, it's just, it gives it more of a professional feel and you can do so, so much stuff with it. Um, and this is just so many ways uh, that you can do with this technique. I actually have a picture right here of something that I created using masks uh, quite a long time ago, uh, which is this right here. It's um, just, it's, it's sort of blurry because it's a picture that I did a long, long time ago. Uh, it's basically the same thing. You just you just make a second copy and just start doing all these different brush effects with it. It's just, it's very cool to, what you can do with it. And as long as you just, it's, it's very simple too. As long as you just select the white area and then just use a black brush or just use the base, basically use the opposite of what the color is. So if it's black, then use a white brush. If it's white, then use a black brush. And you can just do so many different kind of really nice effects with it. It's it's really cool. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this. Um, 
this is going actually pretty pretty long so uh if you did enjoy this uh, please do remember to like comment and subscribe and if you want to learn more about adobe photoshop cinema 4d and adobe after effects and again i'm still trying to get into illustrator then please do subscribe guys thanks and i'll see you later